Somalia President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud has condemned the militant group Al Shabaab for imposing a week long blockade on the southwestern town of Baidoa. Authorities say the Islamist group has cut off supplies in and out of the area, worsening hunger caused by record drought and insecurity. Al Shabaab set up the blockade Tuesday, cutting off transport to and fro by Doha, the capital of Southwest State. The blockade, which comes ahead of a planned government military offensive in the region, has affected businesses and resulted in price hikes as vehicles transporting goods from towns such as Mogadishu are stranded. Hussein Mohamud, the chief of staff for Somalia's president, said the broker demonstrates that Al Shabaab is at war against the people of Somalia. Mohamed Edwin, a trader in Baidor, told where businesses will soon be forced to close as supplies dwindle. He said he relies on supplies from Mogadishu that pass through Afgoy, but his business has suffered since the blockade with his stock nearly depleted, Edwin said. He might be forced to close his business if the blockade continues. According to the United Nations, Baidoa is home to about 600,000 internationally displaced people pushed from their homes by the Al Shabaab insurgency and drought. And it's say by imposing the brocade, Al Shabaab is affirming its strength and that could worsen the situation in the region. Abdelrahman Azil said, Director of the Mogadishu Best Center for Analyst and Strategic Studies, Al Shabaab is sending direct and indirect messages to the Somali government that they are still in control in parts of the country and impose sanctions anywhere and people will obey their orders. Azali added that the blockade could jolt the government into an earlier launch of a planned offensive. Somali government says it is on course to launch Operation Black Ryan, which will focus on southwest and Jubaland states in the southern part of the country. Thank you so much for watching.